Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Christmas Master 4 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, we talked to all the girls and got to finish showing our poems to Natsuki and... No. God. <clears throat> I can't freestyle that well. Uh, we finished showing our poems to... Um, Yuri, no, Monica and Sayori. We also got, um, a little bit of a feud between the two of them. And, uh, now PJ is streaming. Um, <laughs> um, we got a little bit of a feud between the two of them, and we decided that, uh, we decided we agreed with Natsuki, but we also think that Yuri's, um, argument is a little bit more, is also strong, it's not terrible. And, uh, we're all, we're about to write another poem. Hopefully this one's suited more towards Yuri, since we figured out a little bit more about them. So, universe? Um, bliss. Starscape. Time. Laugh. Extraordinary. Cute things. Fickle. Play. Explode. Cheer. Joy. Doki Doki. Cute. Yeah, I always have cute. Oh crap, I don't know what I picked there. Um. Vivid. Swimsuit. Swimsuit. Um. Climax. Fantasy. Lollipop. So this one's actually less, a lot less Natsuki. So she probably wouldn't like it as much. Another day passes and it's time for the meeting, the club meeting already. Alright. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Enter in the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Chris! Yo, Sayori! Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? Then that's not like you at all! I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why is that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh-uh. Sayori, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill into the desk. Why? Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> you don't have any money. I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. It's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry or wanted an excuse to take a walk. Or either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But here's one more thing. You're always hungry, and so that only leaves the one option. Uh, I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Damn, Chris is savage. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? Everyone says eh a lot in this, I will say too. Everyone says eh a lot. I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in her books, as always. Ah! Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just some something in my book. Yuri! Tell Chris to let me borrow some money! Th that's... Don't get me involved in like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. 
And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your stuttering is far enough for retribution. Or fair enough. Uh, did, did I just... I, I didn't mean it like that! I got to absorb him into my book. Uh, uh. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're right, though. I did something bad and I had to accept the revolution. Retribution. <laughs> <gasps> that! Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes! So I had to trick that Suki into making them! Come on, give me a little more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> Ow. Yeah! Let me guess. That Suki heard her. Out, so out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. I is this a miracle? Is it because my- It's because they prayed my restitution! <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! It's so nice of you! I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Because, you know, eating the cookie is too much of a big deal. You have to hug the cookie first before you eat it. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes one big bite. So good! Mm? Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes one bite of her own cookie. Ah, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this one with me. <laughs> Siori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her arms around her. Jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh! Natsuri suddenly leans down and takes one bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful Sayori trots away safely. <laughs> Yuri and I laugh as well. That's a pretty good joke. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes! Monica, can you tell Sayori. Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Not true. In fact, all of you I like more than her so far, but I mean, I like her too. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed! Boyfriend? What on earth are you guys talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was a study hall. To be honest, it kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. <laughs> I don't really. I kind of just started recently. 
I've always wanted to learn piano. Why does that sound off to me? That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica! That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will! Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Chris! Monica smiles sweetly. Uh... I didn't mean to pressure you or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining about it to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back on her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hello. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, I kept my promise. I pulled out the first volume of Parfait Girls out of my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands and quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. It's gonna- I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So, you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found- Monica! Natsuki's voice resonates from inside the closet. Eh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books were lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Sorry! The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there, I just had to organize it a bit. <clears throat> the top shelf is far above Natsuki's head because short joke! She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez! This is so inconvenient! I'm moving all these back down. There's plenty of rooms on these shelves! Besides, they're pretty pretty... Ugh. They're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top of the shelf? <sighs> Natsuki. There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool and it's hanging on the wall. If you want to... If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself! Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? I mean... I KNEW IT! Well, you know what? Just watch me! Natsuki hops on the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Because you decided not to put the, th the legs, st uh, the leg stabilizers down. Uh, uh, careful. I know what I'm doing! Standing on the stool, Natsuki fingertips reach the top of the shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Uh, Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller books to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Blah, blah. Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. There! Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez! No need to prove your <laughs> no need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Why'd you say that... If you knew she was like that, why'd you basically bluntly say that you're short, so you can't do it? <laughs> That's not really the smartest thing to do. Let's see... 
classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too convenient to fit in the closet. Aha! And Suki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels and back over to the closet. Uh, it's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Ish! Natsubi, Natsumi, Natsuki climbs onto the chair then slowly balances under her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Aha! There we go! See, I can easily do it now! Natsuki grabs the, uh, the stack of manga and bends down to put the shelf below. Well, the chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. W what are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can... I can almost see her skirt. <laughs> Come on, Chris! Now is not the time to be a pervert. Like, come on. <laughs> that seems too obvious. Gah. I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead. Huh. Natsuki wraps her arms around the parfait box set and easily the largest one on the shelf. Ugh. Heavy. Hey, Chris. I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Eh? But then I'll have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up! Alright. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Eh? Oh, no. Natsuki looked like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box. What are you looking at? You're trying to look at my... My... Natsuki's legs shake. I'm not. I was just... N Natsuki, don't try to move. Just give me the box. Y you perv! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But... I'll do it myself! Uh, uh... The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki... The scene turns into a chaos for a split second. Look at all that chaos that's happening. Look at all that chaos. It's everywhere. <laughs> the chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you! But the books are probably... dead. <laughs> The, for the full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms before as her la face lands straight on my chest. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Uh. Slowly, Natsuki is coming to her senses. Yeah. Ugh. She presses her arms straight into me to prop herself up. Eh? Atsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Yeah. Gross! Gross! Gah. A fist pounds in my chest. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko! Everything okay over there? I heard a loud noise. I'm sure, I'm sure you did, Monica, she, who suddenly peers in. Monica, see what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna say it right now. Don't worry about it, this is a good pose. Um... It's just, just don't worry about it. It's a pretty good pose. S sorry, sorry. Oh my god. 
I just thought of giving her the May voice, but no, no. I think it would fit her, but I, my May impression is pretty bad. Oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. I didn't... Somehow it's impossible for you to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear! I know, I know, don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no. My. My. Eh? Huh? I look down. Natsuki's kneeling on the floor holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease along, along the page that he's desperately trying to smooth out. Ah, must have landed on that page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but can't get it out. Suddenly she gives up and slams the book shut and throws it on the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. <laughs> Natsuki, are you- No! Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Uh, I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't even care that much. I'm just... having a really bad day today. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It, it's... it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Yeah, if someone's crying like that, I don't think... Especially who was, like, angry to you prior, I don't think she would want to talk to you. Just... Every day... It's... So hard. I just want to... Come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help clean this up. And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Ah. I picked up volume 2 of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. Maybe this will help cheer you up, alright? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lips quiver. You're... You're really nice to me. Eh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect that at all. Well... I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <sighs> Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another snob. SNOB?! S sob I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in the correct order. As you should, because given the fact that it didn't seem to be going super well with her earlier, I think it's best if you keep it that way. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done and I hoist the box on, back onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get onto the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. Alright, that should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her, her gaze. Th thanks <laughs> It's nothing. Natsuki's holding the volume I set aside in her hands. Alright, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The thing about cheering me up. If you insist. We sit in the same spot as last time. I and I open the second volume. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing all the things out to me. See, she's surprisingly sharp, making notes of a lot of the subtle repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed with by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has a good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep. Even if you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it anyway, you know. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book slip the book into my bag. 
All right, we're gonna end this a little early, and we're gonna give we're gonna uh, share our poems next time on Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. Again, there's a surprising amount of depth to this game that I've um I kind of didn't think would happen. Um, I'm sure there's the twist that I'm uh. I'm waiting for. I, I'm, I'm waiting for this twist to happen. Like, I don't know what specifically happens, but I have a feeling there is a twist to this. Um, like, it's, it seems too natural and ordinary for it to gain as much popularity as it has. Especially amongst certain people. So, I'm hoping that it comes eventually. But until then, we can uh, worry about what my poem will lead to the... Uh, reactions between these people so next time on let's play doki doki literature club we're gonna talk to yuri natsuki siori and monica in that order probably monica more so but uh because i need to know more about her i know enough about natsuki and some a bit about yuri but i want to know more about monica i need to know why i should like her the most well, I mean, I don't, I don't feel like I should like her the most, but I feel like she's underdeveloped so far, and I want to know more about her. So maybe I might fuse the thing to Monica's liking, but do, I don't see Monica on the the list of things I can make poems for. So it makes me think that I'm not supposed to get her, but I don't know. I don't know why, and she seemed to be a bit late, and her excuse seemed a little half-assed. So I don't know. There's something going on with her. Maybe I don't know. But until next time, uh, we'll see you guys then. If you want to subscribe, be sure to do that. You can do it whatever you want. I don't care. You don't have to do it if you just wanted to came. If you just wanted to come here for the Doki Doki stuff, there's probably going to be another one if it's daily. If I record enough. If not, then it's probably every other day or something like that. There's usually a video every day, and honestly, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this series, or at least uh, like some characters after finding my playthrough a bit different than others. That's good too. But yeah, uh, see you guys next time for another video. Take care, have a lovely day, and we'll see you guys later.